Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are discussing functions in Python. We have discussed like functions, normal function, the definition, I mean the introduction of functions, then uh, functions with arguments, then types of arguments, then we have uh, discussed like args and quags, right. Based on that, we will be doing one simple exercise, coding exercise, right. Now, you are, uh, you know, going to uh, paint a wall. Right, and you have to calculate the number of cans needed, the number of cans of paint needed to paint that complete wall. Right, so what you need the input height and width of that wall, right, then you will calculate maybe the area as well as you need the coverage. Right, means suppose let's assume one can of paint can uh, paint 7 square meter of area. 7 square meter of area of that wall, one can and this is the coverage. Now you have to define a function that will accept three arguments like height, width of the wall, height of the wall and the coverage and based on that you have to calculate uh, how many cans would be needed, the output should be how many cans needed to paint that complete wall, right. Now what you have to do, see. Now the formula is number of cans needed is what area like height, height into width divided by this coverage. Coverage means 7 square meter, right. So this, this number of cans like the number of cans, the complete name you can write. This thing, this formula you have to apply it. Area means height into width then divided by the coverage 7 square meter. But the problem here is what suppose uh, here you will get 1.7 and something like this, right? After decimal it will uh, be having few numbers, right? But obviously we cannot buy 1.7 can like 0.7, 1 we can buy or 0.7 we cannot buy. Either we will buy 1 or 2 cans. So now you have to round this number up means 1.7 means it should give you answer 2. If the answer is 1.4, then also obviously we will not buy 1 because 0.4 you need. So you will not, if you buy 1 can you will not able to paint the complete wall. So you can buy 2 because if there is some extra paint, it is okay, we will uh, keep that paint, okay. Extra is fine. So in this case also it should give answer 2. So you have to round up the number round up the number 1.4 also 2 not 1 1.7 also a 2 if you use a round function then it will give 2 but it will give 1 so you cannot use round function so one hint is you can use ceiling function ceiling you can just read out something about C what is this and how to use this is your you can say assignment so I am not going to tell you how to use this function I am just giving you a hint use seal function to get this kind of output to round up a number right. So just do some googling and find it out. So I hope you got what is the problem and how to find it out the formula I have told you everything what should be the input what should be the output right. So now pause the video and give it a try. Okay so I hope you have done this you have tried this out now let's create a new file and like paint area calculation dot py or simply paint area dot py right now what you need height and width of the wall suppose I am taking a variable h and obviously input function using input we will ask height from the user so this would be string by default that is why here only I type casting it I am converting this into integer see int right so same for width. So let's just copy paste this and take a variable name w then int input enter the not height this time it should be width of wall in meters. Two thing we need and we know that like uh, coverage is equal to 7 uh, square per meter. So that is 7. So let's call the function suppose suppose we haven't defined the function yet. So we are calling the function or let us define the function first, right, okay. 
we are defining the function here like def and function name is paint suppose calculation paint calculation right and in bracket three argument it should accept height width and coverage right then only we can apply the formula so we are writing here like height comma width and cover or maybe you can say coverage both you can take same cover and here just calculate area area is equal to <clears throat> this height into width right now how to calculate number of cans number of cans have to calculate <clears throat> this area divided by this cover whatever this cover is or you can say coverage any variable name you can take divide by cover right and simply you can print here using f string like we are simply printing you will need how many cans uh, we have that thing in this variable number of cans so just put that variable in braces these many number of cans or maybe you will say like, you will need five and then we write cans of paint right something like this so just pass this function here uh, sorry call the function here because to execute this function you have to call first so paint calculation and you have to pass now three uh, arguments so better to pass keyworded argument maybe first you will pass height first you will pass width that would be assigned to height you know positional argument would be some maybe that will not give you proper results so better to pass keyworded arguments right so suppose first i am passing width <laughs> like w i d t h see width equal to automatically it is showing width equal to w then height equal to is equal to h and then in this definition we have cover so same okay sorry here we will write down same cover cover equal to automatically it is showing cover is equal to coverage this function coverage and that's call it right so these are keyworded so that is why this width would be assigned to this width only if you simply write down first w then h then coverage rather than keyworded then whatever the width that would be assigned to height according to positional arguments right so this is fine now right i hope that is not this is not so much tough so let's run this and see what output you will get first it is asking in the height of meter uh, wall suppose 3 and width maybe suppose 4 so you will need 1.71 for this cans of paint but obviously we cannot buy 1.7 we will buy two cans right so one thing is still remaining you have to round this function up uh, round this number up number of cans so either in a separate line you can in number of cans you can just round up this number using seal function right seal is from maths module math module so whatever function you will use you have to import that module first so first import math import math right now you can use seal so directly here only how to use see from random module if you want to use any function like choice so you will first try uh, you have written first the module name random dot the method name choice so same here first write down module name math dot seal see automatically it is showing seal right and in seal we simply write down this formula area divided by cover so in one line only you can round this number up rather than using another line right or in another line also you can round up this number maybe another variable name you can take like n is equal to math dot seal and in bracket you can just pass number of cans and here you can write you will need n cans of paint so let's run this for same height is 3 and 4 width is 4 meter so you will need 2 cans of paint this time you are getting exact output right whatever you need
So that is it. This is how you can calculate the area of wall to paint. Right? I think that is easy. Okay, so I hope this was not so tough for you guys and you have done it. Now in the next video we will see one more coding exercise. So now I will see you in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.